Okay, so viewer Linda Joe, my sister's name was Linda before she passed. Well, I guess it's still her name, isn't it? But anyway, viewer Linda Joe uh, asks, uh, what will happen with Ukraine's resources? Will they benefit the many uh, or the few? So that's what it'll be today. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Just go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, it is a fair question for Linda Joe to ask. You know, Ukraine is rich in some natural resources. They've got lots of farming there. They're a, uh, a very productive uh, country. And so, yeah, what's going to happen to all of that? Is it going to benefit just a few oligarchs? Or uh, is it going to go to feed everybody? What do you think? But we'll pull cards to see what the cards say. Okay, so uh, Linda Joe has this question. Thank you, Linda Joe. And she asks... Uh, what happens with Ukraine's resources? Will they benefit a few or many? Ukraine's resources, what happens with those? Will they benefit a few or many? Good question. Because something's going to happen with those resources. So what happens with Ukraine's resources? Will they benefit a few or many? Um, there is corruption in Ukraine. OK, uh, it started uh, from a seed of that uh, Russian Soviet uh, corruption. So there's no uh, doubt that some of that has to be uh, cleansed out before, uh, you know, good things can happen. And in politics, there's always that huge element of not niceness. So what will happen with Ukraine's resources? Will they benefit a few, the oligarchs, I guess, or many, the people? But before that, let's have a moment of meditation. Ukraine's resources, good for the few or for everybody. Six cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ukraine's resources, good for the few or the many. Signifier card. Okay, so this is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Um, oh, this is Happy Family. Isn't that interesting? So the Ten of Pentacles, uh, Happy Family, so this speaks to everybody um, and a lot of value. Ukraine's resources, this speaks to the value, and the Ten of Pentacles is for the family. So no, the signifier card, if I didn't know, do another card, it says, no, it'll be for everybody. The challenge to it, though, is um, this end of a cycle, this 20 of the Major Arcana. Okay, so this is telling us uh, there's a judgment here. There's um, the sorting out of whose fault is this. The basis of this reading is this Queen of Pentacles. I want to say this is Mother Russia. That red dress, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. The basis of this, it's all started out as because Ukraine was USSR and then became Ukraine separate state separate country. Uh, the, the past of this reading, ah, is the King of Cups. There's a huge, strong, emotional uh, element uh, to this issue represented by this King, this as high as you can go in the emotional suite of Cups, King of Cups. It's in the past. The sky of this reading uh, with this number two, <coughs> this is the um, High Priestess. The High Priestess has all the knowledge, all the um, um, unblemished caring for how a thing should be done uh, properly okay uh, almost a noble uh, godlike um, serenity over the issue and then the uh, uh, final outcome for the first part of this uh, Celtic cross is a six of wands which is victory six of wands wands are actions plans moving forward and victory I don't think I have to go any further I'll read this one more time so the question is uh, will Ukraine's resources benefit a few or the many and it starts out with just the, the, the absolute answer is right here this ten of Pentacles happy family ten of Pentacles Pentacles are worth uh, so yeah this will will, will 
the signifier card is everybody uh, is happy about this. All the people will uh, value, but it's challenged by judgment. Okay, it's um, and the uh, the base of the reading then is Mother Russia, the Queen of Pentacles. How it all started. The past of this reading, this King of uh, Wa, a King of Cups rather, uh, is the emotional compassion at the very highest level possible. And in the sky, this reading with this High Priestess is understanding there is a again a noble uh, presence overseeing all of this. And then the likely outcome with this uh, Six of Wands is victory. So yeah, the people, and look, there we are. The people will be the victors in this. So, I mean, it's a serious um, situation uh, that we're talking about. And I didn't mean to make light of it, but um, thank you, Linda Joe, for the question. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this Impressionist Tarot, these cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards, except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and, uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards and, um, and so what they've, they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this uh, this work here but they're gorgeous to use I love them and uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this impression is tarot. I'm so happy with these cards. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come. So ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.